So how many of you guys out there are fans of The Legend of Zelda? I am kind of a, you know, a fan. I'm not the biggest fan ever, but I've played through maybe about six of the games all the way through. Um, I actually never finished Breath of the Wild, which is funny because I bought Tears of the Kingdom, but I want to finish Breath of the Wild first. <laughs> so I'll get through it because I bought all the DLC with it and I want to get all that shit. But anyway... There is a new Zelda game coming out, one where you actually play as Princess Zelda, which I think is fine. This is not the actual first Zelda game to do that. There is actually a Zelda game on the CDI that came out way back in the 90s where you actually play as Zelda. Of course, this game in particular is a piece of shit that nobody should ever play, but... It kind of demonstrates that the concept of playing as Princess Zelda is not something that's never been done before. It's not like it's this groundbreaking thing. But the video I want to show it to you today seems to think that the fact that you can play as Zelda is going to destroy masculinity and destroy Nintendo and also means that Nintendo is now like, I don't know, jumping on the DEI train or some shit. This is by a guy named John Del Araz. The video we're going to be watching is called Nintendo Full Girl Boss Zelda Exposed as Employees Push DEI in Video Games. For some reason, he wrote the word DEI with spaces in between them. I'm wondering if he thinks that YouTube is like not going to suggest his video if he actually puts that in the title. I don't know, maybe. Let's set this to 1.25 speed, and let's let the man take it away. Nintendo Direct made its big announcements today with a whole slate of games, which seems exciting at first glance, and, and some of them are. Uh, I will definitely give credit where credit's due, especially Metroid Prime 4. Uh, Metroid Prime is probably one of the best series Nintendo has and uh, has stayed that way for a long time. But uh, when you delve into this, Nintendo's got a lot of problems because they are trying to push that uh, DEI agenda that every other video game company has been pushing over the last couple of years. And it starts with the new Zelda game, but it gets even worse as you start to get into the company, which we're going to do in this video right here. So thank you guys for watching, everybody. Uh, let's get into the news in just a moment. Okay. DEI in Zelda, huh? Why exactly? I mean, this is not the first Nintendo game in general that has had a female protagonist. I mean... Metroid has had a female protagonist ever since the beginning, and he just said that he loves the Metroid series, so it has to be something other than the fact that you can just play as Zelda, right? I mean, is is Princess Zelda running around, like, castrating other fucking people with, like, rusty fucking nails and shit and, like, broken Coke bottles, that kind of thing? Is that what she's doing? <laughs> right is that what Z zelda is she running around like fucking drowning young male babies or whatever is she like forcing other people to get abortions or something <laughs> is that what's happening like is this fucking legend of zelda abortion edition i don't know there's got to be something is zelda going out and firing the entire staff of her castle and then hiring minorities to replace them <laughs> right that's dei right is that that's what the conservatives think dei is right we'll see what the actual reason is moment my name is john delarose i'm a number one best-selling comic creator and i have a kickstarter coming up uh yeah, in a uh, just a little Shut bit up. this is called the hidden emperor and uh, fuck that's you in the description below and also thanks uh guys please so uh, we mentioned this, and, and the Zelda game then came out. And if you look at a Zelda game, this gets kind of weird because uh, traditionally a Zelda game has always been Link searching for Zelda, who's been kidnapped. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, then he has to fight all these monsters off to get her uh, going. Now we have Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, uh, which, you know, does not seem to follow the current Zelda trajectory whatsoever. Uh, not, not in style, not in anything. This looks like a, a silly little puzzle game uh, that uh, okay. features Zelda then searching for Link. So they have replaced Link uh, and then gone full girl boss with this new Zelda game. Uh, very disappointing for Zelda fans uh, as they see this happening. And it's intentional. If you look at the... Now, like I said, this is not the first Zelda game to actually do that. This would be the second Zelda game. I mean, admittedly, the other Zelda game where you play as Zelda is a piece of shit that came out for a, a non-Nintendo console. And also, it's kind of rare and pricey, by the way. If you look up, the, there were three CDI Zelda games, all of them which are pieces of shit. You can see videos on, like, the Angry Video Game Nerd, for example, like, making videos about them. They're notoriously bad. But they had a game where you played as Zelda, so this is not the first time that this concept has ever been explored. 
And why does it make it a DEI thing? Why does it make it a girl boss thing? Exactly. Just the fact that you can play as a girl makes it a girl boss thing? Why? Let's see if he actually explains why. Let's continue. The way Nintendo's been acting lately, they've been trying to follow the culture in the same thing, trying to get rid of their male heroes and uh, and do exactly what every other corporation's been doing. And uh, there's an agenda for sure, 100%. That's not true at all. Get rid of their male heroes? Are there other games where you don't play as a male hero that Nintendo's putting out now? Like, is there a Mario game where you play as Princess Peach? Actually, there is. There's several Mario games where you play as Princess Peach. I think one of them came out on the DS, if I remember right. And it was like Princess Peach's something adventures or whatever, where she actually gets to rescue Mario for a change. Didn't that game come out in like 2010 or something like that? I know that there's another Princess Peach movie, a game that came out not that long ago where she's like, but I never actually played it. But still, so that's not like a new concept either. Yeah, when did the Princess Peach game come out? There was one that came out like, let's look that up. So there's Princess Peach Showtime. Yeah, Super Princess Peach 2005. It's not like this new Princess Peach game that's coming out is a DEI thing either. Since the concept of playing as Princess Peach is something which is almost 20 years old at this point. So where does the DEI part come in? In fact, if I remember right, you could play as Princess Peach way back in Super Mario Bros. 2 in 1988. Wasn't that the first time you could play as Princess Peach? So was that a DEI game? Did like Nintendo go back in time? and make Princess Peach playable in that game in order to appease, like, liberals and progressives and shit with their, like, DEI agenda. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, just the fact that you can play as the princess. How the fuck is that, like, diversity, equity, and inclusion? How, do, how does that amount to any kind of agenda at all? When... There have been games going back decades where you could play as the princess. Doesn't make any sense to me, but let's continue. Agenda is on display uh, elsewhere uh, because Nintendo of America has dis uh, the ma the manager James Wong describes gamers opposed to wokeness as angry bigots. Uh, previously encouraged racism against white people, and so this is uh, what Nintendo of America has been doing for a long, long time. True. Nintendo of America manager James Wong describes gamers as opposed to wokeness as angry bigots previously encouraged racism against white people. He's absolutely correct. The same people who are opposed to quote-unquote wokeness are the same ones who lose their shit when they make an Assassin's Creed game with a black protagonist. They're the same people that lose their fucking minds when a black person gets a starring role in Star Wars, for example or a Marvel makes a, a movie with a female protagonist. Like, they're the same people. It's absolutely 100% true what this guy just said. I don't know where the previously encouraged racism against white people part comes in. I don't know about that. Could it be true? Probably not, if I think about it. Most likely that's just some exaggerated bullshit that some fucking moron on Kotaku thought up or whatever. What's the name of this blog? That Dark Place? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take the opinion of a, of a blog called That Dark Place. I 100% can already tell you that's just like filled with fucking conservative grifters, culture war grifters and shit like that. Let's continue, though. It's trickling over to the Japanese area because our market is so big. And uh, these are the people that just keep getting promoted in these companies to do this kind of thing like the girl boss is Zelda. So uh, James Wong, a content production okay. systems manager at Nintendo America, declared gamers who rightfully oppose wake wokeness in video games as angry bigots. He called for and encouraged racism against white people previously. His comments come in the wake of ex-user uh, Esco Conchai. Okay, but how does this make Zelda, the new Zelda game, a girl boss thing? How does it make it a DEI thing? All right, so because one guy that works for Nintendo may have made comments that you don't agree with, how does that make this game like a DEI initiative? See, DEI is a very specific thing. Diversity, equity, inclusion. It's a very specific thing. And companies that have DEI platforms essentially are trying to diversify their workforce so that every single person they hire isn't like a white male between the ages of 25 to 40. They're trying to recruit people from other races and backgrounds. 
for various reasons. Partially the biggest reason is because it makes their company look good. Please remember that any corporation out there that has like these types of programs, they don't actually really give a shit about racial equality and like trying to reverse the effects of institutional racism, stuff like that. They don't actually give a fuck about any of that stuff. They're doing it because it makes their company look good. Please remember that. These people are not really allies. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that minorities who may not have gotten opportunities at these companies are not, you know, benefiting from these programs because they are. So, you know, I mean, just because it's not genuine, it's not like done out of a genuine desire for social change doesn't mean that people don't benefit from them. So that's why I kind of I, I tend to agree with these types of programs because it's like it doesn't hurt anybody. Like, the re even though the reasons why they do them are bullshit, they still help people. So, I mean, why not encourage helping people, right? That's the way I see it. What I'm not seeing here is how this means that this game is, like, a DEI initiative. Like, the fact that you can put Zelda in a game and you can play as Princess Zelda, how is that making this a DEI thing? That's what I'm not seeing here so far. Ice. Coach Ice, geez. Uh, qu questioning the current crop of video games, asking uh, if it ain't DAI, DEI and corporate BS, why do modern games suck complete cheeks compared to the past? Are you defending the state of the industry? Uh, X user Airbag responded with uh, writing, 2024 is effing stacked with amazing games. I, I don't see that so far. And Dawn Trail isn't out yet. Oh, and Shadow of uh, Erdtree isn't out yet. Oh, and Astrobot isn't out yet. Shut the F up. I would like to respond to that, actually. Because what did he just say? He said that somebody on Twitter, somebody on X, asked this guy here, whoever the fuck this is, right? Which I don't see how this guy relates to whatever this person here in this tweet. I, what's, it, what's it say? Kate Bush's husband? I don't see how anything this guy says relates to Zelda, but whatever. But I would like to actually respond to that. So the thing that this dude is responding to is saying, hey... If it's not a DEI thing, then how come games today suck so much? And I'll tell you, games today do not suck so much compared to games in the past. You cannot compare games in the past to games that are made today. They are on a different level entirely. They're completely 100% different, even something from the PS1, Nintendo 64 era. Can't compare those. You can compare games today made to games in the lat the latter half of the seventh generation, the latter half of the PS2, Xbox, GameCube era. Like, that's it. It's like you can divide games from before PS2 and after PS2. Games made back in the day in the 16-bit games, stuff like that, they're on a lower level than games today. Games today are on a whole different level than games from that era. They're just not the same. Games today are more like movies. They're much more cinematic. You know, they're much more... Like, if you take a AAA game with, like, a huge storyline and shit like that, it's, like, much more cinematic. There's much more substance to them. They're designed to be played for longer periods of time. And they're at a point where the designers are actually able to communicate a message. You couldn't really communicate a message back in the 16-bit era, even all the way up until... The 32-bit era, even when you're making games for the PlayStation and the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Saturn, you couldn't make games with coherent messages where you were communicating something like the way that you can in a movie or a film or a TV show, that kind of thing. You couldn't make really make video games that had much in the way of, say, social commentary really wasn't a thing. I mean, you could try, you could have subtext to it, but it just, it really wasn't a thing back then because the technology couldn't communicate these things. These are things that require usually actors. You have to have a human touch if you're going to communicate something that has to, that deals with humanity, like social commentary on one thing or another. Games back then were just not really capable of communicating that, and they are now, and that's the main reason why you see things Nowadays, you're starting to see games that actually do communicate on stuff like things like The Last of Us and all that, talking about consumerism and etc., etc., etc. There's a big difference. Like, people say, oh, well, the games today suck. Well, they're much more cinematic today. 
And there's also lots of things in modern game design that people of my generation probably don't really agree with. Like, one thing that I don't like with modern games is how they fucking lead you through the, like, around by the nose with everything. And they have tutorial fucking levels for everything. And it's like, games were like that back in the day. Back in the day, they just threw you in and you had to figure the shit out. You know, you couldn't go online and fucking say, oh, where do I go to get this? Or where do I go to get that? Or whatever. You figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, you don't fucking complete the game. And I kind of like that a little bit in my games. I kind of like the little bit of mystery where you have to actually explore shit like that. A lot of games don't have that now. A lot of games just sort of have a set path. And you just go here and there's some optional shit over there maybe. And everything is just fed to you through the nose. And that's not really my thing. So it's a lot different. You know, you can't just blame like, oh, it's because there's girls in games now. It's because there's black people in games. It's like, that's a real fucking shallow criticism that lacks substance, in my opinion. And anybody who says that is a fucking idiot. But let's continue. Uh, now, Airbagged is uh, a gaming agitator out there who's been trying to, of course, uh, attack gamers. Uh, this person is tied deep with uh, the Kotaku crowd and Melissa Mercante. Uh, shows up on all these threads uh, attacking people like Grums and Smash JT, some of the best gaming journalists out there. You know uh, you know who these people right. are uh, if you've been following video games very much. No, I don't Wong, care. Wong, who works for Nintendo America, a manager. I don't know any of those people, and I don't care. Continuing. Uh, then said, uh, it feels like all these angry bigots were better people before their con idols, that's, uh, that's of course Grums and Smash JT and me, uh, gave them terms they shouldn't get mad about. When those terms are concepts which have been around forever. You mean the thing I like from 2000 is woke? Always has been. Now this is a standard SJW line. It's always been that way. You see this every single time. Doctor Who has always been woke. Star Wars has always been anti-Nazi. Yes. And, and of course they, they take... Yes. <laughs> yes they have <laughs> Doctor Who has always been woke Star Wars has always been anti-Nazi Indiana Jones has always been anti-Nazi Wolfenstein has always been anti-Nazi yes yeah and if you don't think so you're an idiot if you didn't if you really didn't think that Star Trek for example like that's a that's I always love that one I love how the conservatives like think that somehow Star Trek wasn't woke it's like what the fuck are you talking about Star Trek like, I love that shit. I love just how fucking completely media literate conservatives tend to be. Like, yes, conservatism was always, they're like usually mostly always framed as the villains when it comes to these franchises. So, like, the anti-woke shit is just so fucking, like, these people are just so fucking clueless. <laughs> God damn take everything and phrase it in a way that uh, isn't the actual intention of the original game or property, but is something that they are bastardizing uh, in current year. And this is uh, this is how these people try to do this. You, you can see he's wearing a mask in his, his own profile pic in 2024. Dude, this dude is in denial. This guy is in denial. He really thinks that, oh, they're the, the SJWs are reinterpreting these things to make it fit their agenda. It's like, dude, are you fucking serious? One of the major themes of Doctor Who going all the way back to the 60s is that war is bad and bigotry is bad and the two are exonerably linked. Going all the way back to where the fucking Daleks get like introduced way back in the day. If you haven't watched classic Doctor Who, it's actually pretty good and it's pretty poignant. It has a very, very strong anti-war, anti-bigotry uh, message. Even back in the fucking beginning. Star Trek has always had a very, very, very anti-bigotry message. There's a classic fucking episode of, like, these aliens who have, like, two-toned skin. One side black, one side white. And nobody can figure out why they fucking hate each other. It's because one side has the black part on the left side and one side has the black part on the right side or whatever. And it's like, you know, and Kirk sits there and goes, this is fucking stupid in so many words. You know, he doesn't actually say that, but, you know, basically says bigotry is wrong. It's like... In the original show, in the original classic show from the 1960s, right? It's not some fucking SJWs making shit up in, like, the late... No, no. It was always like that. And the fact is that you people are too fucking stupid to understand that. And games were always like that, too. Lots of games were like that. I mean, shit, Metroid. Stars a female protagonist. You play through the entire game, and you only find that out at the very end. 
And I can tell you, as a 10-year-old, you know, my friend Doug beat fucking Metroid. I never actually beat Metroid myself, but I go to his house. He beats Metroid and shows me the ending, and I'm like, holy shit, Samus Aran was a fucking woman. That's like a big deal. Are you fucking serious? Did you really not get the subtext there? Did you really not understand, like, why that was such a big deal to a 10-year-old? Because the whole time, oh, I'm playing as a girl. Because in early games like that, Female characters were usually something that you saved from the dragon or whatever. Save, you know, Mario saves the princess. So the fact that you've been playing as the girl this whole time and you've been kicking ass as the girl this whole time kind of shows you, well, hey, maybe women aren't always objects just to be rescued. Of course, you don't get that shit because you're a conservative and, you know, logic and reason just bounces right the fuck off of your brain, I guess. He is a huge virtue signal. This is all he does, and this is what he's trying to do to Nintendo America to change it. Back in December 2020, he went even crazier. Am I the only one who's out of a problem with the term PC Master Race? Because it feels like something a white person would say to make other people inferior. Much in the same way computer terms master and slave. I live complete, don't live completely rent-free in my head. I don't see what's wrong with what he just said. I mean, using the term Master Race in general does kind of, yes, sound like something a bigoted white person would say i mean unless you're trying to say that uh nazis are not white i mean i know there are such things as non-white nazis that actually is a thing but generally when you talk about what nazis you're talking about white people so how is james wong how is he incorrect here <laughs> and why do you take offense at this comment this is like this comment is like the most innocuous, like, inoffensive comment. Like, the only people who would get offended at this comment are Nazis. Am I wrong here? If you're not a Nazi, are you offended at this comment? Yes or no? I mean, am I just not understanding this here? Is, is, has DEI just taken over my brain and then I can't, like, compute this shit anymore? Or is this guy protesting just a little too much? I know. Weird. Of course, he's going out there and taking computer terms and then turning them into racial terms, which don't make any sense, but this is what they do. But he continues. It's more but of a something, something, terms. sensual, and economic superiority. Those are racial terms. Master, slave, PC, master, race. Those are racial terms. When you use them in regards to a computer, they're not meant in that way. But that is, those are racial terms. So he's not incorrect. He's just pointing out shit that this guy doesn't like also how does this relate to zelda being a girl boss game how does this relate to zelda being a dei game because he hasn't really talked about zelda very much so i'm waiting to see how he's going to bottle the ends here how is he going to explain to us why being able to play as princess zelda is a dei thing still waiting for that pretty complex thing going on a flex on having more money and accessibility than others than implying others won't, can't, or shouldn't. I'm well aware there's this, too. Furthermore, he's uh, done this again. I wrote in reply to the solo RT, but I will say this here for posterity. These are fellow Americans who don't okay. want human beings like me to exist. They may not say it, but it's true. Their intent lies within. They don't care about anything else. They can't see their sheep. And he's, of course, talking about Trump supporters, uh, which has nothing to do with him. And uh, this is what he does. It's just, it's I mean, that's true also. The Trump supporters don't want people like him to exist, generally. Or what? Let's rephrase that. The people who don't want him to exist are Trump supporters. Put it that way. Okay. Not that every Trump supporter doesn't want him to exist, but of the people who would not want James Wong to live in this country, who would not want him to work in this country, of those people, 100% of them are Trump supporters. Still not seeing how this relates to Zelda, though. It's just a hatred of anybody on the right, hatred of anybody who doesn't agree with them politically, and a hatred of white people driving all of these folk here. They keep going even crazier. Uh, yeah, you know, nobody on the right gets to talk about hatred ever. Sorry, you guys don't get to talk about that. What did he just say? Oh, it's just a hatred of people who don't agree with him. If you're a right winger in this country, you don't get to gatekeep hatred. You don't. You don't get to claim that other people hate you and that the left is using hatred no go fuck yourself go fuck yourself that is the biggest gaslighting load of fucking shit ever okay it's an entire political movement 
based around hating people who don't agree with you based around inflicting violence on people who don't agree with you suck my fucking dick you fucking asshole that's the only proper response to that the proper response to somebody who tries to gaslight you into saying oh you guys are hateful as they go around and commit fucking like hate crimes as they go around and like try to take over the fucking country as they use threats and violence in order to impose their will on everybody else around this country fuck you what a fuck all right there's exactly one minute and uh you know 20 odd seconds left here let's see if he's gonna bottle it and talk about zelda i want to hear about zelda you made the claim you know this video is called zelda girl boss exposed so where does the Zelda part come in? He's, he goes off on a trucker cap wearing white man. Looked at me when I have emerged from a restroom. Sitting down with a coffee mug in hand, he looked at me and shook his head. Oh my gosh, somebody looked at you. Well, maybe it's because you were wearing a dumb mask. <laughs> my God, they make everything racial, and it's always about white people. If, if, if like, I tweeted about black people this much like this, like, oh, a black guy looked at me in a diner. Like, I mean, I'd get canceled so fast, but these people get promoted for it. It is anti-white racism going on across the video game industry, across... You know, it's not anti-white racism when you explain your lived experience with white people being racist to you. You know, he gave one a little experience, you know, something that he experienced talking about a time he felt uncomfortable in a restaurant. When a trucker dude came out and stared him down and gave him a dirty look. And our commenter here just completely fucking glossed over it oh well maybe it was because you're wearing a mask ha 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 well maybe it was because he was asian how about that maybe it was actually fucking racism but you wouldn't even consider it the guy here making this video didn't even consider that as a possibility just completely shut it down because in his worldview there is no such thing as racism see that's the thing you got to remember here it's like they're liars obviously there's racism the guy making this video knows there's racism the guy making this video knows that there's anti-asian racism and it's actually very prevalent in this country especially since all of the covid shit went down but he's completely throwing that out the fucking window he's not actually here to do anything about actual racism he's just here to make money from racists that's what this channel is all about. Less than a minute left. Let's see if he talks about Zelda. Uh, everything in entertainment, and it's, it's really showing its true colors. So Nintendo is okay. now pushing this. Uh, again, a girl boss Zelda, which is going to be something that people aren't really going to be interested in. Okay. And okay, he's talking about Zelda. Tell us why it's a girl boss Zelda. All right, you can play as Zelda. Zelda's the main character. What makes her a girl boss? 46 seconds. 44 seconds left. Let's go. And um, this is in their new line, uh, which they released today. They've got a new Mario okay. and Luigi coming out. Mio, Donkey Kong Country Returns, okay. uh, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 HD. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, new Mario Party, M versus C Collection, uh, new Ace Attorney Collection, Last Defense Academy, and Metroid Prime 4 Beyond for the full slate of these. But it is mired by the, the one little sore thumb that's sticking out, just like it always does with DEI. All right, leave a comment down below. That's it. So there's no fucking reason why it's a girl boss thing, why it's a DEI thing. It's just the fact that you can play a Zelda. Didn't he claim that Nintendo was getting rid of their male characters? Well, here's the new lineup. How many of these games have male leads in them? Let's see, Mario and Luigi, Mio, Donkey Kong Country, Dragon Quest. There's Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, most of the characters there are male. I guess not Zelda, Ace Attorney, Last Defense Academy, don't even know what that is. Oh wait, Metroid Prime, up. Oh female character there so i guess two out of the ten here are i guess these must be you know the dei things right did you notice that he at any time did not talk about zelda at all he didn't tell us why it was a dei thing he didn't tell us why it was a you know the name of the video is full girl boss zelda exposed what the fuck did he expose nothing he just mentioned that this game is coming out. Oh, you can play a Zelda. And here's some random fucking dude that works for Nintendo that has tweets that I don't like. Where does the fucking Zelda part come in? 
I don't understand. Like, how do these fucking channels have so many people that watch them? This dude has 38,000 subs. This video has 6,000 views. I guess that's not that many in the uh, grand scheme of YouTube. That's more than my fucking videos get, though. <laughs> right? So, I mean, obviously the guy has an audience. Obviously he's doing something right. So, it's like there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of channels like this. Where, like, they go and the title is this clickbaity thing. Girl Boss Exposed. And what did he expose? He exposed the fact that you can play as Zelda. Oh, there you go. There's your fucking Girl Boss Exposed thing there. You can play as Zelda. It's a. It's like the first. Like this is the first time you can ever play as a fucking princess in a Zelda. No. How do these people, like, I don't know, like who watches this shit? It's obviously, somebody's fucking watching it. Like it's the most like inane, ridiculous, fucking lacking of substance kind of argument that I've ever fucking seen. They these guys don't have any good reason for their arguments at all. There's like, every time I watch one of these videos where they talk about, oh, this is DI in action, oh, this is Zelda girl boss of the Princess Peach, and they're diminishing Mario, shit like that. Every time I see one of these fucking videos, it's the same shit over and over and over. It's like some fucking dude talking about tweets that don't have anything to do with the actual game and not actually speaking as to why they titled the video that way. Why is it a DEI thing? Okay. Why? Do you even know what DEI means? Like, it's just so fucking brainless. It's brainless content for brainless fucking people. It's really... You know what these videos are? These videos are guys who are like... They, they're collecting clicks. Like, clickbaity bullshit. Of people, like, exploiting the anger... Of like young fucking men who want to pretend that they're the ones who are like being oppressed. That's what it is. It's like they're like cashing in on the fucking conservative oppression complex. Where it's like, oh, it's so bad. Everybody thinks I'm racist. Everybody thinks I'm sexist. Whatever. Hey, look at this game. You can play as a girl in this. Fucking DEI. Such brainless fucking shit. Seriously. I don't know. Kind of makes me sick to my stomach. I think I'm going to actually go play that new Zelda game. <laughs> you know why? Because fuck these people. Hello, folks. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon, liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.